Madam Vice Chair, welcome to the show. Nice to see you. Nice to be here. So I just wanted to start off with some of the recent data. We've gotten it as, as recently as this morning, in fact. We had an ADP report that showed half as many jobs created as expected. Second month in a row that small businesses actually lost jobs. How are you interpreting the signals on the economy that we're getting? Because it's been a little bit of a mixed message picture. Well, I think that's exactly right. We're getting some signals of strength still on retail sales. Uh, but as you noted, um, uh, perhaps uh, looking at some cooling elsewhere. And of course, with our number one challenge being the need to get inflation down, we do expect to see some cooling of a very, very strong economy uh, over uh, time. And uh, we'll be looking closely to the data to see that kind of uh, cooling in demand uh, and moderation, uh, better balance uh, in the labor market. So, so you think we're starting to see that already? I think it's too early to say. I'm going to be looking for a consistent string of data uh, on uh, both the strength of demand, uh, labor market coming into better balance, and, of course, importantly, a string of decelerating inflation data to feel more confident. I'm just wondering because, you know, we got some commentary yesterday from Jamie Dimon, CEO of J.P. Morgan, the country's biggest banks. And, and it looks like in just a week he's gone from seeing storm clouds on the horizon to a hurricane in terms of the economic outlook. And I was wondering if you saw that and, and how you read that and how worried we should be about it. Well, it's certainly um, the case that uh, there's a fair amount of uncertainty. Uh, you know, we've had some pretty big shocks between uh, Russia's war on Ukraine and lockdowns associated with COVID in China. Uh, but what is clear is we need to get inflation down. I think there's a path to do that whereby demand moderates, uh, growth moderates, the labor market comes into better balance. You know, if you do look at the labor market, uh, we've got uh, twice as many job openings uh, as unemployed. In those circumstances, historically, businesses have um, brought down hiring uh, and uh, reduced openings rather than necessarily laid off workers. And so I think there's a path there uh, where we could see demand cooling, inflation coming down, the labor market being in better balance uh, while still being strong. So that's the soft landing scenario, which, which a lot of people think is just not that realistic to expect, given what you have to do on the tightening front. Well, we're certainly um, uh, going to do what is necessary to bring uh, inflation back down. That's our number one challenge right now. You know, we are starting uh, from a position of strength. Uh, the economy uh, has a lot of momentum. The other factor I think that's uh, very positive uh, is that uh, business balance sheets and household balance sheets start uh, this process uh, from a very healthy position. What about inflation, which you say is your number one priority? There, there are some signs that maybe the supply, the supply crunch is thawing a bit. The core PCE came down a little bit. Are, are, you, are you willing to say that we've seen the peak? So on inflation, um, I'm going to be looking to see uh, a consistent uh, string of uh, decelerating monthly prints on core inflation be before I'm, be I'm going to feel more confident um, that we're getting to um, the kind of inflation trajectory that's going to get us back to our 2 percent goal. You know, in terms of uh, our uh, tools, they're very effective uh, at cooling aggregate demand. As you noted, we've started on quantitative tightening. We are raising rates. Financial conditions have uh, tightened quite a lot more broadly. They're much tighter than they were pre-pandemic, for instance. Uh, and so you can uh, see uh, that there's room for businesses to bring down markups uh, for margins to compress, for uh, demand mm -hmm. to rotate uh, back to services a little bit away from those really hot uh, durable goods sectors, uh, and for uh, inflation to cool. But of course, we, we don't have the ability to affect the supply shocks hitting the economy, and those are the ones uh, that are leading to high prices at the pump and in grocery stores. There, there we have less, less ability to affect that.